okay, we're just gonna do some review. So go ahead and answer numbers one through three and graph them. And then um, check your answers in the original inequality and see if that shaded area that you shaded is correct. Is there one that didn't quite work out? Number three, maybe? Okay, that's that's a hint to you. One of these is gonna be home here. Okay? So make sure you solve all three, graph all three, and check your solutions and see if you can figure out which one doesn't work. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put my answers down here and graph them.
Happy Halloween. I know, huh? <laughs> um, the other teacher is a little bit behind, so she's doing homework 10 um, for one step inequalities, so I just skipped it. Okay, <clears throat> does anyone have an idea of which one they think might be the one that doesn't work quite right? Olive, which one? Two. Two. So when you take something in that shaded region and plug it back into the original problem, eight divided by negative two is negative four. Is negative four less than negative five? No. 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 It's not, okay? So the whole, so one and three seem fine, but there's something funky with two. And this is me showing you that there is a need for a special rule, okay? So um, everything for solving inequalities is exactly the same as solving equations, except this one special rule. So let's write our rule down and then we'll redo number two. Okay, special rule. And here we go. When you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you flip the symbol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of cross out number two so that we don't think that that's right. And I'm going to rework number two down here. Okay, just like before, I'm going to put my balance line I know that the opposite of dividing by negative two is gonna be multiplying by negative two. So I'm gonna do that here and here. These cancel out. I'm left with x here. Now here's our special rule in action, okay? I just multiplied both sides of this inequality by a negative number. When I do that, I have to flip my inequality symbol the other way. Now, some people get really excited about this rule, and anytime they see a negative in the problem, they want to flip that symbol. But it's only when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. So you can have a negative number in the problem, but unless you actually are doing the action of multiplying and dividing something to both sides of that, then it stays the same. Okay. Now we can graph this. And we're saying that um, it could be 10, so I'm going to fill in that circle, or it could be anything greater than 10. I'm going to shade it this way. Okay. I have a super cringy way of remembering this. Like, even I acknowledge just how bad it is. Do you want to hear it? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I get so, so cringy that I'm even having a hard time saying it. Okay, watch me flip, flip, watch me negative, negative. See? It's bad, right? <laughs> you all can laugh at the cringiness. Oh my gosh, Urban hiding in your coat. Okay, so um, watch me flip the sign because of the negative, negative, right? <laughs> See, I knew that was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad. So that's why I warned you ahead of time. Cringy, yeah. 
But maybe you'll never forget it now, right? No. No, I want to forget it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for letting me be cringy for a moment. All right. Let's go ahead now, now that we know our special rule. Actually, before we do two-step equations, let me do one more example like this. Okay? Okay, because like I said, this is also um, a rule for when you divide both sides by a negative. So I wanted to do an example where you're dividing by a negative. So in this case, um, to solve this, I would divide both sides by a negative 2. And when I divide both sides by a negative, I'm going to flip the symbol. So this will be positive 6. I'm going to flip the symbol and then R. Okay. So it's just those two cases, when you multiply both sides by a negative or when you divide both sides by a negative. That's it. So you'll see this rule come up here and there, maybe once or twice on a homework assignment. But it's not every single problem. Um, but just be aware of it. And really, if you're checking the shaded region after you do your graphing, and if you're checking it in the original equation and it's not working out, you may want to look back and say, oh, should I have flipped the symbol? Okay? So always make sure you're checking your, your graphing and making sure that you've shaded the right side. And if it doesn't work, figure out why. So I'm just going to graph this real quick. All right. So we know that it can't be 6, but this is telling us that um, R is going to be greater than 6. So I'm going to show shade the graded side, or the greater side here. Okay. Now um, I'll go ahead and plug in um, like an 8, because that's in the shaded region. So this side over here would be negative 16. And negative 12 is greater than negative 16, so we're good. We're good. Okay. All right, let's move on to two-step inequalities. All right. Um, just honestly, just like solving an equation, okay? Except for that one special rule, which doesn't even come up all the time. So I do my balance line, I add or subtract what I can, all right, so this is x over 2 is greater than or equal to 26, then I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And I get x is greater than or equal to 52, I believe. And no sign flips on that one. You didn't multiply or divide both sides by a negative, so it just stays the way that it is. OK, now with these um, two-step equations, instead of just checking the answer mentally, I like to write it down. So I do my shading. We know that x is greater than or equal to 52. Now I'm going to pick something in the shaded area and plug it back into my original equation, or my original inequality, and just make sure that I'm good. So this is 54 divided by 2 minus 8 is greater than or equal to 18. When I divide this, I get 27. When I subtract, I get 19. And you can see that 19 is greater than 18. So I know that I did my work right and my shading's good. Yes, Chris. So on your homework, you do have to show your work, okay? And, um, the check does not necessarily need to be on there, as long as you promise to check it mentally. Okay, so do a mental check. Uh, 
All right, so let's flip this over. I want to show you two, um, two examples, one that has the special rule and one that's a little funky that you just need to be aware of, okay? Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. All right. So just like in our equations, I'm going to add 11 to both sides. And we're left with negative 3x is greater than 56. And then the opposite of multiplying by negative three is dividing by negative three. So I'm gonna do that here and here. Now, I just divided both sides by a negative, so what do I need to do? Flip it. Flip it. So this is gonna be x is less than. Now, I already know from experience this is not gonna go in evenly. So I can leave it as negative 56 thirds or if you want to switch it to a mixed number, you could do negative 18 and 2 thirds. Okay. I don't think there's any weird ones like that on the answer checker tonight. Yes. Um, do you have to write down the number line on a paper? Yes, you do. Yeah, so you're going to solve them and graph them by hand using inverse operations. Okay. Now, your homework is only seven questions, and I'm going to give you a significant amount of time to try to get it done in class. Okay. And look at, I even wore a t-shirt for the occasion. See? Show your work, peeps. No. Bruh. Bruh. Did you even show your work? Okay. I'm just having a cringy day. Y'all can be cringe. You all can cringe at me. It's fine. Okay. All right, let's take a look at one more example that is, like I said, a little funky that we just need to make sure we're good at with, okay? Okay. Um, on this one, um, the order is a little different than usual, but we're going to go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides because we want to eliminate this number that's with our variable. And what we're going to be left with is negative x is less than or equal to 25. Now, you're not done yet because your x is negative. So what can I do here? Yeah, go ahead, Irvin. Divide by negative 1. Sure, divide by negative 1. Now, what have I just done? Yeah, well, yes, I've made it positive, and because I've done, go ahead, Christian. Absolutely. Okay, so this is going to be x is greater than or equal to negative 25. Okay. All right, it's you guys' turn. Seven problems. Show your work. I'm going to be collecting your homework tomorrow, so make sure you have it done. And you guys have a lot of time, almost 20 full minutes, to do seven problems. <laughs> oh, here, let me show you the table of contents, too, before I close my computer. Like, so you can see the bottom of the other one? Sure. Here, I'll do this. Maybe. 